Whoa, Steve, you're really tall. Yeah, I've been eating my vegetables. Oh, okay. Yeah. What do you got going on, man? <laughs> Yeah. Come see me in Toronto, then go see me in Vegas, La Jolla, Huntington Beach. I'm on tour right now, and then we are doing a, a stand-up on the spot every second Tuesday in the month at the Comedy Store, and then we're doing a uh, stand-up on the spot in New York at the end of November. Look out for it, as well as St. Louis. And then make sure to join our Patreon. Go to patreon.com slash scissorbros for exclusive content, my friends. We just reviewed the Mexican pizza from Taco Bell and introduced Steve to a lot of menu items mm -hmm. there. A lot of fun. Let's get into this episode of Scissor Bros right here, right now. Love y'all. Love y'all. You gotta project, brother. I'm in a different spiritual plane. You gotta project. I'm in a different spiritual plane <laughs> right now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is so disgusting. I'm in a different. This is so, this is so next. Hold on. I love is, you, brother. This is so next level. This, I'm in a different. This might be one of the grossest faces I've ever had in my life. Oh. <laughs> Spiritual. Oh. Later. <laughs> Looking real clean today, brother. I figured I'd wear... Beyond Borg. Yeah. A little Andre Agassi today, huh? That's what I'm saying. You look like a legit pro tennis player. Do I? Yeah. You have the physique for it, too. <laughs> hey, man. Thank you. You're an athletic guy. You could probably do all of it. Thank you, man. Yeah. And something's different about you. There's nothing different over... Oh, there on sure is. The road. There sure is. I don't think there is. There's no detective on the scene. His name is Stevie Lee. Commissioner what you, Gordon. What do you think it is? I think you got those Commissioner Gordon Arkham Asylum glasses on, brother. Got my my glasses in. <laughs> got Here, my, take it again. Take it again. Take it again. Got my glasses in. Okay, do a different take, but with more passion. Got my glasses in. Okay, yeah. Okay, now try this one with um, like that you're a little bit sad and reluctant. I got my glasses in. Okay, now try one uh, where you say, um, I got my glasses in, but like, you're kind of, kind of into it, like maybe sexually. I got my glasses in. <laughs> That's the take. Oh, nope, nope, let's cut the tongue. <laughs> no, cut, no, you said sexy. I know. Let That's me do it again, sexy? let me do it again. Okay, take it again, take it again. I got my glasses in. Ooh. <laughs> there's some... Time step that. Some, there's some deep yeah. creep going yeah. on in this one. Hey, there's no creep involved what? in this. No deep creep involved. I just involved. said deep creep. No, you don't no, like that there's expression? no creep involved here. No jeepers creepers. There's no creep involved. Little. There's nothing no but... No beeper sleepers? There's no, nothing but stoicism. Stoicism? Stoic. Yeah. Okay, yes. now look past camera and imagine yourself on a pond fishing. Okay. Brute by Fabergé. You just did a cologne ad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like it. What was that? Well, I kind of wanted to... Don't you feel a little musical right now? I mean, with you saying that, yeah? Yeah. Let me throw you a curveball. I oh. think you could adapt. Okay. You're feeling good today, right? We're both feeling good. I feel, dude, there's some You got stuff. some rest last night. You got some sleep. I got some sleep. I could tell when you get sleep and when you, can't, when you don't get sleep. Really? Well, yeah. how, how am I when I don't get sleep? Your eyes do a it kind of cringe, watery. A cringe? It, yeah, they kind of get watery in your, I could tell. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. You got sleep last night. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this. Did I get sleep? <laughs> you sure did. Seven, eight hours. Whoa. Something for his eyes 
and Jeremiah. He was wondering what beneath him lies. He saw a dead body in the ocean. And under the playground he heard a help. He's awaking from a nightmare. He looked in the mirror and saw himself. No, one. you always freaking get the last thing. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I wanted to get the last oh, one. You did? Okay, you know what? But dude, my OCD, bro, I, I'll die. If you want me to die, I'll get hit by a car. <laughs> Just <laughs> because. Yeah, I'll get hit by a car. But that's okay, dude. Go I mean, at least we got this episode. No, no, then. no. Go ahead and finish. You got the last one. Though. Wait, wait, <laughs> let me do it again. You want me to get Okay, I'll get I'll hit fine. By a car. Okay. 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 I love you, brother. Love you, brother. Way to be a team player. <laughs> you know what? You get the last one. I feel bad now. No, 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 no. no. I did. I did. I already. I'll get next week's no, no, last one. No, no. I asked one. the universe. I said I'll, this I'll is get an next exception. No, 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 not now. No, no. I'll get no, next no, no. week's last one. No, no, If you don't do it now, if you don't get the last one now, something really bad's gonna happen on my <laughs> street. Up. I swear to God. So you have to do it. Uh, no, do do it with conviction. Okay. It's your day. You won again. Yeah, it's always my day. It's always your day. It's always Jeremiah's day. Nope. It's your day. Disagree hard. It's your day. The, we have a lot of stuff that I can't wait to talk about. <laughs> I, can't I can't wait tell, to talk I'm, about I'm this. I'm already honed into can I your brain, brain can we brother. Please. Oh, man, can we I'm please still traumatized. Talk about this? I'm still traumatized. I have to know the details. Steve. Go ahead. You want to present it? <laughs> do you want me to share? Go ahead. Can I share the text yeah, conversation? You yeah, you, yeah, that's a good way to set it. Okay. Why I put this? Down I'm there. relaxing with my wife on Sunday night. Okay. And all of a sudden, I get a text message from Steve. He rarely, if ever, texts me on a Sunday evening. So I think something might be wrong. Something was wrong. <laughs> this is what he says. <laughs> Steve texts me. <laughs> On Sunday night at 8.16 p.m. And he goes, I accidentally drank my urine out of a Snapple bottle last night. Can I talk about it next episode? I'm still traumatized. I refrigerated the bottle thinking it was half a Snapple. And now we're going to play for you guys oh your response my response i texted steve immediately as soon as i read it because i was having such a violent reaction <sighs> and we'll play it for you high quality and on and on camera right now <laughs> i just read the message from you stevie and i started laughing out loud and crying immediately because it made me so happy and disgusted at the same time. How did you do that? How did you do that? Oh, I love you, brother. Oh, you're my sister brother for life, man. Some good stuff right there. I started shooting out tears immediately. That's some good content right there. Oh, wow. Dude, it killed me. What, why were you so entertained and amused by that? Is it due to my suffering? Dude. 
I, there, mean, I have so many questions. Are you kidding me? I well, have so me, many questions. Why? What why? Led to I you made a mistake. Refrigerating your pee. Can I? Can I? Can I map out? Yeah. Can you please and, explain? And kind of I've been like dying. I've been wanting to ask all these questions describe. through call or text since Sunday. But yeah, I'm very curious. Okay, so lately at my grocery store, I've been buying six packs of Snapple. Okay. Preferably the watermelon lemonade one. That's like my new favorite flavor, okay? And we all know I love on my um, downtime, I like playing Warzone, uh, you know, with with our buddies, you know? Mm -hmm. And when I'm playing Warzone, I hardly actually walk to the bathroom. I piss in bottles. So when I'm, you know, with, with me, I, you know... I might have opened up a Snapple, drank some, and then I have three different bottles laying around. I don't know which ones I'm pissing in. I don't know what's what. And so, during can the we war... Can we rewind a little bit? Yeah. Why are you pissing in bottles at your place? That's a very good question. Um, it is a very good question. <laughs> Why are you even peeing in bottles inside your place in the first place? It's not like you live in, like... A nine-story house where or you can't third find world a country bathroom. or a third-world country or something. Why are you no peeing in bottles? You know what? I've thought about this, and I'm glad you asked. I actually enjoy the satisfaction of peeing in a bottle for and some sealing reason. Sealing it? Yeah, and then um, God, let me really choose my words wisely. <laughs> no, no, no! Don't think, just do. And sometimes I I make it into like a science experiment. Where if I leave it, um, it's like trapping something in, you know, like a science experiment yeah, 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 and yeah. containing it with, when you know, sealed uh -huh. where I notice this. I don't do it all the time, but when you leave urine sealed like that for and you forget about it, like a week, maybe a week has gone by mm -hmm. and then I, I'll open up the lid. It's just like. It's interesting smell. <laughs> Are you kidding? It's interesting. Yeah. It's, it's interesting inter to you? It's interesting. Yeah, it's an interesting smell. Say it again, but adjust your glasses. <laughs> You're not going to say it's interesting? Oh, I thought you said to do it like no, say non verbal. It, say it interesting. Oh. It's an interesting smell. <laughs> okay. So um, that wasn't the case in this scenario, right? It's basically the reason why I don't, and it it's no problem at all, but I well, sometimes we're loading in. I don't want to miss a thing because I like, you know, I'm literally in the middle of conversations with my fire team. And so I'm like, it's easier for me just to like grab the bottle and place it, you know, Near oh, so you're doing this for gaming purposes too? Y yeah. So you don't have to get up. That's the main reason why this happened you know oh as far as this catastrophic event that happened with me tasting my own urine it's yeah. because i'm playing warzone and i'm like oh dad we're loading in are and you a little surprised that it took you this long what, what are you talking about <laughs> like you're a weird taste weird smell guy oh yeah have you tasted your the own the pooier the have, funkier the better you, for okay. me okay Couple questions I, love I have funk. to ask now because you were so shocked. Yeah. Have you tasted your own? No. Never. No. Not even after you hooked up with a girl. That's gonna and be you, Scissor like... Bros episode one thousand. By the way, we're gonna do it eventually. Not even after like a girl went down on you and then like you kissed her afterwards or anything like that. You tasted a little bit. <laughs> yeah. It I took... caught you red handed. It, didn't no, I? it took me a while to process. Say that one more time. When a girl goes down on you, mm -hmm. and then sometimes she wants a kiss afterwards. Oh, that's no problem. Then you might have tasted it then. Down on my, wait, down on my butthole? Now we're on two different pages, my friend. Well, I, well hold on. What are you doing? Hold on. We're talking about two different when sports I here. When I say, You're, we're talking about two different hold sports, on, man. Steve. Holy are you telling me, guacamole. are you telling me that when I asked you, when I referenced a girl going down on you, you thought <laughs> that I meant she went down on your butthole? Well, that's where the poo comes from. But that's what you consider going down on somebody? No, but I thought that's what you thought 
you're referring to that because why would I ever refer to a because girl we're going talking down about on a poo, guy man? Because as... we're talking about poo. Poo smells. So you're saying my dick smells like shit? Is that what you're implying? <laughs> I said you're like you're. Oh, my nut? Yeah. Oh, that's no biggie. <laughs> I mean, whatever, dude. <laughs> Uh, whatever, dude. You've tasted that. Life goes on. You've tasted that. I don't know. Maybe what? What? I don't even know. I don't think of it like that. What do you think of it as? It's all intimacy. There's bodily fluids exchanged in all of it. Hmm. Whether it's my saliva, her juices, my pre cum, it's all. It's all a part of the <laughs> whole pre cum. <laughs> Ball here, yeah. My nasty, the ball of sexuality. My nastyometer is. <laughs> yeah. So let me get back on track with the, uh, the urine sample. So you don't think that a girl going down on a guy is referring to tossing a salad? I mean, is that what they? Ref- yeah. I mean, is that that's what they refer that as, right? Never mind. Continue with your story. Okay. So, um, so, for some reason or another, I, the bottle, the Snapple bottle, because they're all. Probably half filled up. I picked the one. I picked one. What I thought was a water, watermelon lemonade, and I put it in the fridge. And I forgot all about it because you know when you're playing a video game, you just you just in in it, right? I'm not conscious of did I piss in that bottle? Am I drinking out of that one? Am I? You know what I'm saying? So fast forward to later, later, later. I'm like, oh, I'm thirsty, and without hesitation, I grab that half bottle like it was a watermelon lemonade but it was a bottle so you took a you took a swig yeah because i was thirsty how many gulps in before you realized well dude it was so it was like an outer body experience because it was like slow motion almost because because your brain i'm trying to convince my brain like no that is watermelon lemonade but then i when i took it, it like some of it went down my throat and I had it in my mouth, and then I already had swallowed some, but then the remainder of it was, can I describe the, Keep the going. taste? The remainder of it tasted like a brothy, salty thing I've never tasted in my life. Because I've never, have you tasted urine? No. Yeah, dude, it's a whole, it really messes with you. Is it like melted chicken noodle soup? Worse. Because mm. it comes from within. Mm. You know, there's toxin, you know byproducts of just your waste yeah but i can't even describe the taste it's just indescribable so bitter but i knew the re- yeah it's not even bitter it's broth you knew right it's away stank. no because my brain's like no dude it's watermelon lemonade <laughs> so how many gulps in no i did one one and then some already went down my throat but then the remainder i kept in my mouth like oh or this and then once I realized you piece it together really I, I quickly. I pieced it together. I'm like, nope, this is your pee, and I went and I spit it out in the sink. Yeah, and then I had to gargle for a long time. I had to actually make top ramen. I had to eat a whole meal to get rid of it. Yeah. Well, congratulations. You just so leveled. You just leveled up as an adult. I don't know. I just it's just weird that forty some years on this planet I had never tasted it and now I know like, oh, that's what urine tastes like. Yeah, I'm surprised. Yeah. Cause you see those movies where they're they have to like they're on a mountain and there's Survival. snow and they're like they have no water and they have to drink their own urine, you know? Because yeah, it's like ninety five percent water or something like that, right? It's mostly water, right? So you know what? I'm just gonna throw this out there. We should do a future challenge where I pee in a Dixie cup and you pee in a Dixie cup. And, and we get li- banned from YouTube. No, 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 That's no. That's the challenge. No, we're not showing anything. It could, be, it could be Gatorade in there. I don't think they could flag us for that. Right? Got Right? Universe? <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. It so, was- I'm going to address this. And, and, and he's going to appear on camera in a future episode. But people have been noticing. Sometimes Steve or I will look off camera in the last couple episodes. We have a producer in the garage with us. I'm dropping that. I'm dropping that knowledge right here, right now on the podcast. I've been pretty good today about it, though. Other than the universe, you've been better. You're getting better. Yeah, yeah. But we're gonna we're gonna shout out to our producer Ryan, who's on the ones and twos right now, helping us out. 
give him a little bit more love. Man. We've been, Follow. we've been, yeah. so we've been trying him out the last couple episodes. He's spoiler, been kicking ass, Ryan. We, we he's love been kicking him. ass. We love him. So he's gonna appear on Mike and on camera in one of these future episodes. So show love to Ryan in the comments mm, below. He's doing an exceptional job. He's doing the. And dude. if you want to see him on camera appear in a future episode, mm-hmm. leave those comments. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. So, um, Ryan, we're really happy with you, man. Um, you're doing it. You're doing a good job. He's giving us huge thumbs ups right now. Good job, Ryan. Huge thumbs. Yeah. So let's go back to you. Can I tell you about? Yeah, please. Cause what I consider to be maybe the worst gig I've ever done. I would love to hear it. And it just happened. Paint the picture. Oh, I will. Okay, go ahead. I got hired to do this gig. Maybe I won't say the comedy club because I'd like to continue to work for the club again. But it's a private function at a club, okay? And um, I do a lot of these things uh, in Hollywood that are, through the summer, they call them teen tours. Okay, I'm already probably giving too much away. But anyway, it's where you entertain between 6th to 7th graders, whatever, with a comedy show while they eat ice cream. I do these. This is how I make money sometimes. It's, this is a real gig. It's a real gig. But on those gigs, you can do whatever material you want. You can be dirty. They love it. They're very loose, right? Is that a school? It's like a summer program that, that um, from the East Coast that they do, right? And you just got done doing this. Yeah. But I do them over the summer. They do this thing over yeah, the summer. Yeah. They come How through LA. How many other acts are there? Is it just you? No, no. There's usually four or five other acts on okay. there. So I'm usually only doing 15 minutes, right? Yeah. I'm pretty good at that at those because I am interactive and I'm silly and I'll mix material with crowd work and different stuff like that. And it's fun. Now, like I, you, make, I make it fun. Now, do you have a... Separate like side material you do specifically for those no, types of more, shows. No, just material that's more for that age group. Do you know what okay, I mean? Okay, gotcha, They gotcha. would understand the references and right, stuff like right, that. Right, 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 right. Um, but you can be as dirty as you want, and that actually gets a huge response if you are if you do dirty stuff where you're talking to the kids and stuff like that. So I'm used to that, right? Mm-hmm. So I agreed to do this gig mm-hmm. that was 45 minutes, just me headlining a gig out of town to this private event. And I get there, and they tell me that it's not actually uh, what I usually do in Hollywood. It's they want corporate clean for seventh graders who are a group for a private school of Episcopalian seventh graders. Episcopalian. It's like a like think of it as like a, a like a strict like Christianity. It's it's a Christian kind yeah. of group. It's a Christian group. Okay. Now, you can't curse then. There's no right, cursing. right. But I don't curse anyway. So I was right. like, I was like, I wasn't aware. But let me go prep some material in the green room right now, because I'm like, I probably won't be able to do much crowd work uh, in general no. if, if they're just wanting and me to be one super of your clean. And that's You you kind of lean on that sometimes. Sometimes you're good at it. Thank you. So you can't do it. In so this scenario, you right. Can't do so that. The, I just need to do 45 minutes of clean material. So they can't. They took that away from me, by the way. That's a resource you could tap into at any time in, during your regular shows. What? Your, your crowd work. I could still do it in this setting, but like, right. if, if I wanted to, I still have that option. Okay. That's not what the, is hinging upon the story. So I pre- prepare what I think is a clean set. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. I go out there, and there's no opening act. It's a teacher... That's saying, this is your first comedy show, kids, so be a good audience. Is it in the auditorium, the multi-purpose room? Place? It's a big, let's just say we've done a Scissor Bros Live there before, and it's a big place. In Pennsylvania? No, I, what I'm saying, I would, <laughs> good grief, Steve. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm trying to not name the place. Oh, I'm gotcha, not trying to have gotcha. you guess it right now. Oh, it was at a church. I'm Just sorry. let me tell this go story. Go ahead. Go for a ahead. Second. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, I start going in the, into my material, and it's kind of whatever. Like they've never been to a comedy show. I'm not expecting huge results. Mm-hmm. It's getting little snickers here and there, but they're not. You know, it's not doing great. They're just like, eh, it's awkward. It's whatever. And uh, I go into this joke about how 
I've only slept with my wife. Okay? Yeah, I've heard, yeah. It's I'm very a, innocent. Yeah, it was, it's, it's, it's very a part clean. Of your gig. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, when I'm done with that joke, I see a guy storming towards the middle of the audience. And I go, whoa, 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 is everything okay? He goes, actually, no. Everything is not okay. This is a student? This is a chaperone. A Steve, chaperone. please pay attention to these details. Okay, it's a chaperone. Yes. He starts yelling at me from the audience that my show is done. He's like, you're done. This is not what the, what we signed up for. I go, really? That was the line? I go, what was the line? He said, you're talking about uh, sleeping with women? I go, I said that I've only slept with one woman, my wife. And honestly, that's about the most innocent thing. Like, that's literally in the church. Like, that's what they're teaching and preaching is that they want people to wait to ma for marriage to have sex, right? Absolutely. So, like, I am, like, kind of arguing with them. I'm standing my ground because I'm like, I'm like, that's actually one of the most innocent things. Like, I don't, like, I don't see how that's offensive. Offensive. I go, and he goes, you know what? It is. And I'm just, I'm just trying to do my job and protect these kids. I need to do my job. And I go, and you know what? I need to do my job. And what you just did was the worst thing that you could have taught these kids for how to behave at a comedy show. You stormed in the middle of the set. You started yelling at me and heckling me while I'm on stage. So give it up for that, kids. <laughs> the kids are silent. They are so scared of what's happening now between me and their teacher. Another guy that's a staff member comes out of the audience. He's like, listen, this is a private function. We decide what's appropriate, not you. We're trying to protect these kids. I go, I go, okay, what is something, if this is the line, what is something that you'd like for me to tell them? And they go, some dad jokes. I go, okay, well, I just had a son. And I go, uh, they go, no, you're done, you're done. I go, no, 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 let me fix this. I go, if this is if this is really what you want, I said, I'm not trying to offend anybody. So let me, uh, now that I know where the line is, I can correct this. So I reset the room, I'm like, hey kids, let's get some energy in the room. It was still awful energy in the room. Because now they're, they're, they've seen confrontation. I, have say, I said to the kids, I was like, I can see that you guys are, uh, are a little bit nervous and some of you are, are just kind of looking down now. Like I'm a weird substitute teacher that came in and, and ruined uh, this for you. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a horrible situation. And I said, I said, you see what, what we just happened? What, what just happened between me and, and your chaperone Damn. is we argued and we worked it out as adults and we're figuring it out and we're moving forward now that's what adults do sometimes they argue but we're we're working it out i covered my bases dude i was maneuvering these riffs to get this show back on the road right i started to go back into material in this joke that i do i'm talking about like i'm comparing uh, uh basically uh I'm, I'm doing like a leg kick and i go uh mimosas sex in the city marathon yeah, yeah. i say sex in the city and they're like They're flipping the red light at me like crazy now. And the manager even walks down who I know. And he goes, he goes, like you're done. Dude, that is absurd, bro. Let me ask you something. Who was the chaperone's name? I didn't, I don't know. Hey dude, stay in your lane, brother. You let my friend and my scissor brother do his do. Let him do his act. It was just without you interrupting him. It was just triggering because they thought that this was I was being like so perverted and disgusting. Dude, and I'm like, if he wants to get biblical, Adam and Eve were butt naked in that garden. Let's stick stick to your lane, brother. Not, not to even stick mention to your lane, brother. These seventh graders, and I still believe what I was doing was corporate clean. These seventh graders. I guarantee you have already been introduced to porn and stuff like that. Yeah, they got it on their phones, bro. Dude, I'm just saying like I didn't feel like I crossed the line at all and I was so upset when I got off stage because I felt like I got berated and then Dude, I, didn't, I didn't get a Molotov chance. Dude, we got to make some Molotov cocktails. That's it, bro. I didn't get a chance Molotov for redemption. Molotov cocktail oh time, brother. Um shame on you. If you want to hire entertainment, let the entertainer do their thing, okay? He didn't cross any lines or boundaries. He was doing his act. Not only was he doing his act, he was mindful. He really trimmed down his act, and he censored a lot of the stuff that he usually does to cater to your 
church prerequisite weird sanctions okay dude they looked at me like such a de- unbelievable they looked at me like such a demon out of hell after they're I, the demons after i said thank you good night and i was waiting for them to come back to the mic it was clear that they weren't going to take the stage until i left i had to walk off stage and leave the stage empty for them to come back on stage because they had wanted nothing to do with me it was crazy dude i wish i would hope off camera you don't have to do it now because we're not putting anyone on blast you have to let me know what what organization and church this is. I don't know the actual church. You or know where this took place, brother. I just know brother. that they're Episcopalian. But you know, shout the out to my Episcopalian, Episcopalian brothers, brothers, and brothers and sisters out sisters, there. That's fine. I don't agree with the middle school teachings that are going on there right wow. now. Wow. But I, well, I appreciate school? your faith. And it was middle Seventh school graders. too. Seventh yeah. grade. Yeah. Dude, let me give you some context. I got no act. You already know my dating situation in high school. But dude, in sixth grade, I was French kissing chicks. In sixth grade, okay. Well, you develop. They, these kids know they're dude. They're having sex, bro. You develop faster than me. Well, I'm not trying to brag or get. You did. I'm not trying to one up any. I'm just giving you context as far as it's not. It's not like they're third or fourth grade. The seventh middle schoolers. They're at least they're kissing. Right. They're kissing. You know, beyond in the you know after school near the basketball court whatever. Yeah. But, you know, I still got paid and I, whatever. That infuriates me. But, like, I didn't get to finish my time. I did 15 out of 45. I got kicked off at 15 minutes. Brothers! Hey, Peterson, what are you even drinking? Uh, I'm drinking a Sprite, Jericho. Do you got a problem with that? I do. Do you know how much sugar's in that? I like the way it tastes, man. Get a load of this. It's liquid IV. What is this? It's time to play. No stakes, no pressure, just pure enjoyment. Fuel your play with liquid IV for hydration that's two times faster than water alone because life's better when you're hydrated. Liquid IV has 10 refreshing flavors like Concord Grape, Lemon Lime, and Tropical Punch. Dude, I freaking love this, dude. Cheers. Cheers. Liquid IV is non-GMO and free from gluten, <sighs> dairy, and soy. Liquid IV contains five essential vitamins, B3, B5, B6, B12, and it's vitamin C, and three times the other stuff that sports energy drinks don't have. So grab your Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco or get 15% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code SCISSORBROS to check out. That's 15% off anything you order when you shop better hydration. Today using promo code SCISSORBROS at liquidiv.com. How did that taste, dude? Pretty damn good, man. Yeah, man. Can I have some to bring home? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, man. Are you done with that other junk? You know what? I'm through with that. I'm worried about your body, dude. Liquid, Liquid IV. IV. I want you fit, dude. Thanks, man. Can I uh, join the football team maybe next year? I'll start lifting weights. Yeah, turn around. Bend over. Hut, hut. Liquid, Liquid IV. IV. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Daughter, what are you doing listening to your phone on speakerphone like some silly street lot lizard? I try to enjoy my music, Dad. Do you have something better to offer? I do. It's in your ear, <laughs> not in any other orifice. What is that? Raycon. We've been listening to a lot of audio adrenaline and newsboys lately, and it's been great. No matter what you like listening to, it'll sound better with Raycon earbuds. Raycon's everyday earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever. They won't budge with optimized gel tips to the perfect in-ear fit. Raycon offers three sound profiles, whether you want to be immersed in sound or hear your surroundings. Raycon does it, Dad. I like to put in these Raycon earbuds when I'm on a flight or when I don't want to hear my teenage daughter talk. <laughs> Raycon gives it eight hours of playtime and 32, 32 hours. hours of battery life. <laughs> Wireless charging makes <laughs> charging a breeze. Get the same quality audio as other premium audio brands and half the price. Check out Raycon's uh, awesome earbuds. Go to buyraycon.com slash scissorbros15 today to get 15% off your Raycon order. That's buyraycon.com slash scissorbros15 to score 15% off. Buyraycon.com slash scissorbros15. I love you, Dad. I love you, daughter. What are you doing? <laughs> Dude, what are you doing? You're right. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm playing a trick on you. 
Raycon. <laughs> now, why do you think that? It's interesting to me because when that guy said, they were the li- chaperone said, I'm just doing my job. It's like, did no, no, he, th- was he even listening to like your material? No, there's trigger words. There's trigger words. That yeah, but you have to give it, you have to see the I whole said, thing. I said slept with, and they probably like, oh, he's talking about sex with his wife. But then what, you know about, what, I mean? what about wife? He missed that? Yeah, I know. That word I too? Know. I slept with my wife? Yeah. You have to see the whole context I mean, of the joke. You know, not just they, you can't they, nitpick. They just, oh, he said they just this. didn't know what they were signing up for. They clearly didn't know what they were signing up for. So it's whatever. Like how? But I was so you know me. I'm competitive. I wanted to win them back. Oh, uh, so I know. I was I, pissed when yeah, I got off I stage. Know. So that woke you up, dude. I was like, I was like emotional. I was like, I, I, I was so like frustrated. Now, can I give you a scenario? Is it similar to like? In the OR, when you have, I'm not going to even say a comic's name, but such and such big time comic, and they don't give you the best kind of intro. No, and this then, is 50 times worse. It this was, was way worse than that. Time. I'm telling you, this is one of the worst gigs I've ever done. Worse than the what well, it's, it? it's my new biggest bomb story because I got kicked off. I didn't even get a chance for redemption. But didn't you? You had one with my brother too, though, in Vegas. This right? was way worse than this that. This was worse dude. than the corporate this was, gig this in was, Vegas. This with was Bob? way worse than that. Really? Because they you were bombing there too. Oh, yeah. they're bit they're they adults, yelling, business guys. Yeah, but they get were off the stage. they were yelling to get me off the stage. I yeah. actually got kicked off at this gig. That's a worse bomb. Okay, I finished my time in Vegas with your brother. Yeah, and then you got a nice steak dinner. Day. Yeah. <laughs> no, I let went, me ask. I you. drove home alone with my feelings. Uh, uh, right. Yeah. So when this happened. Is there a great, like, the room you're in where the... The, the management whatever. and everything were super cool. They go, dude, we know you're in the right place and you weren't trying to offend these people. I We honestly don't think that they know what they signed up for and that they got triggered way too easily. Right. They were very cool. The venue was very cool and they're like, you're still getting paid. I know you didn't fill the time. And I was like, I, I apologize. But they I prevented you from finishing your time is what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they prevented that from happening. Yeah. Oh, God. I, I, would you do another gig like that? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's I'm a competitor, so, man. I know, but dude, it's called redemption, that is baby. Just insanity. It's called redemption. That's insanity. I want seconds. I know. I know. I want to figure this out. I know. I want to crack the code. But in my opinion, in in that with that specific scenario, it's a lose lose. In my opinion, probably I probably wouldn't do but, this yeah, kind of one. Yeah, can you please not? Again. You could still do those events, but yeah. can you not do the Episcopalian, the religious groups? No, no. It was kind of it was kind of weird for me because uh, it kind of like brought back the bad memories of uh, growing up religious for me because I've re- a lot of good memories of like. Like in the church and stuff like that, of Me like too. of solid memories or with my family and stuff. Me too. But it brought back like the condemnation, bad memories of like you're going to hell if you say this a certain way or do this. Oh like, yeah. It, like it brought back like so that was frustrating. So it was kind of triggering to me when that happened when when they like basically rebuked me. They're like, get out of here. Yeah, Spot of Satan. How exactly. dare they and the, you say know, that you slept with your wife in front of these seventh graders? And you notice that they're all believers. Yeah. Like, do you believe? It's like, I don't want to believe. I want to know. They're Ooh. all believers. They don't even know. They're all, I believe in this. I believe in that. I believe in Ephesians. I believe that. You know, it's like, well, that's just a guessing game. I want to really know. So they're not knowers. Not trying to ruffle any feathers. But just I'm just saying, they're, they are all believers. They want to believe. They, they don't know. So that's just like, oh, I believe it might happen, but I don't actually really know. You know, so uh, can I tell you another story? Separate. I from love this? I love these stories. My brothers had similar stories, uh, like in the past, where I'm like, "Tell me that story again." Yeah. Where yeah, he'll go to an event and they don't know that he's the headliner, and he goes out to smoke a cigarette. And they won't let him back into <laughs> the game. They don't let him back in, and he does a little game where he's like, uh, "Well, I just you know, you know, he could just say, hey, 'Hey, I'm.'" Bobby Lee, the headliner, but he kind of plays, he'll play like this little mind game. And then the person keeps doing what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, I love hearing these stories. Yeah. Yeah. You got another one for me? I got one that Tell has to do more. with you. What? I have a story that has to do with you that I want to. Think about this one. No, no, no. I did. You, you, no, no. I'm excited. Go ahead. Okay. So 
in city, sometimes in, in in cities that I go to, um, I'll be invited to do somebody's podcast that I do not know. As a stranger, they'll blindly email me. I rarely do it due to time constraints. And when I'm headlining a gig over the weekend, I'm talking for about five hours on stage. So during the day, I try to rest my throat during the day and not, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? That's Perform too much. I right. understand that. Uh, something told me that I should do this podcast in San Antonio of this stranger. Never met him before. I go, here's what I'll do. I go, if you send me an Uber to wherever you live, I'll do your podcast. I said, that's all that I need. I said, I'm, I don't have a car. I'm staying at at a ho- at this hotel. If you send an Uber for me, I'll go to your place. What's the name of the podcast? It's called Neon Monkey. Okay. So I, I go over to the stranger's place. Yeah. And basically, uh, I start the podcast and I don't know really what I'm going to get myself into. Mm-hmm. Right? The guy seems nice. His name's Zach. I meet him right then and there. He seems nice, seems professional. And then he did this. I'm gonna send you this video right now. I want you to look at it on your phone and, and, and play it into the speaker and we'll play it on screen for you guys. But I wanted Steve's reaction of this in real time, okay? Well, I got a little, uh, I got a little surprise for you today, Jeremiah. Um, Mom? Yep. All the way... Um, <laughs> Your buddy, your pal, uh, all the way from Los Angeles, California, your scissor bro, Steve Lee, guys. Bring it on in, Steve. Steve Lee, guys. Yo, how's it going? Dude, thanks for having me on the show. What's up, Jeremiah? Hey, turn that microphone on, Steve. Oh, my bad. Hey, how's it going? What are the chances we both be on the Neon Monkey show? Wow, this is wild, man. I can't believe he flew you out the budget for this. I know. Yeah, I just, I was just, you know. We got a new manager, man, so the yeah. budget's increased, so we can get these high profile Steve looks a little different, though, doesn't he? I think the, I think the San Antonio air is really... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, the air's drier here, so it's kind of like messes with my skin, so I look a little bit different. Yeah. So how was your flight? How was your flight in? Uh, you know, it was, uh, it was really good. Um, you know, I didn't expect you to be here, so it's, yeah. uh, I wanted it to be a surprise. I wanted to see that look on your face. Yeah. You're looking, you're looking fresh, brother. Thanks, what's, man. what's going on? I did a block and Sarah, the mall. I think it's uh, have you been? I went to the van store, picked my, uh, picked myself up a new fresh outfit for the show. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. I'm sensing something that's slightly different ab- about your scissor energy, though. Yeah? Something's a little bit off. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling that I as think well, that yeah. you might have to tell me something that only Steve would know. Um, so I really, you know, because... Yeah, I can't keep this charade on long enough. Um, dude, can I go? Yeah, that's fine. That's <laughs> what fine. the fuck? Um, that's the end of the video? There's only one word. Cringe. Yeah, man. Right? A little cringe. Right? I mean, if it was funny, but you could tell the kid was nervous himself. So. Because he didn't commit to it. So, like, at the end, when he felt a little uncomfortable, he's he like, bailed. Uh, he bailed. So, I want to show you that. I mean, I'm not, nothing against a kid. I mean, they, they tried. No, no, But no. it's so, kind of so like. This is what, so, this is what I did. What? In the rest of the podcast, I got really mad because he didn't commit to the bit. Oh, because. Look, I didn't. We didn't even discuss that. That's I something I just I noticed. Oh no, no, I I, got, I'm observant with I got that. Pissed because he didn't commit to the bit, and I called him out for it. Where did you get this freaking fake Stevie Weeby? I'm freaking pissed right now, dude. This is disrespectful to me. This is disrespectful to the Lee family. Fuck the it, fact that man. you would bring out some random Asian dude that can't oh, even shit. bring it to the hall. I'm not even getting oh, paid. Sorry, I'm not even getting paid for this. Why did you do that? He already felt uncomfortable, man. Because he didn't even do a good impression of you. No, at least try. He just showed up Asian, bro. Exactly, dude. They'll try like, to do the voice or like my mannerisms, like right, "Hey guys," right? And hey, then like, Stevie and Weedy. then putting in a like a nicotine pouch, so, yeah, or like do you like know, a little research, or like scratching his nuts, yeah. like "Hey man, look, I got yeah, some here's a little skittle, yeah, 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 you know, or something. something like that, yeah. where or drinking a Red Bull, right? Like like obsessively, so, like mannerisms that only I would do. He didn't do that, so I got mad at this kid. Yeah, that's so. And I called him out, and. He said, uh, well, I really got to go um, because I have to go to work. I go, where do you work? He goes, I work at my dad's Chinese restaurant. And I go, okay. And without him knowing, we surprised him. And we showed up 
to the Chinese restaurant. Why'd you do that? Because I was like, you pulling a bit on me, I'm going to pull a bit on you. Hey, <laughs> why'd you go that far, bro? I made the host of this podcast, Zach, drive me to the Chinese restaurant. I've never met him before. He drove me to the Chinese restaurant. And then I'm going to show you the next series of, of clips. We went off the rails, brother. I forced Why did him to, you c come in with vengeance like that? I just because you're my scissor brother. I know, and he but wronged you, my friend. No, no he, they wronged themselves. They didn't wrong me. They wronged themselves. I don't mind if you poke fun. Just do a good job poking fun. At there least you try. Go. I mean, if it's funny. Shout out to my friend Zach, by the way. We became friends through this weird process. But do you want to see these clips? Yeah. You thought we were lying. We're in the car right now on the way to go see Cameron at this Chinese restaurant and we're gonna surprise him. Oh yeah. Then we're gonna get some nummies. We're outside Borgfeld Bistro and we're about to surprise Cameron right now. All right. Let's do this. Hey, Cameron, he was at my house earlier and he was like, oh, I gotta go work. Um, he'll probably be here close to four. Oh no, fail. <laughs> we came all the way to see Cameron. Yeah. This is Jeremiah Watkins. Why is he recording? Oh, he's a comedian. Okay. Right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so Cameron was not at work yet. He doesn't get there till 4 p.m. He lives only a street over, Zach says. So now we're going to head over to his place and then come back and get the food that we're going to eat here. And then I'm eventually going to get back to my hotel for the shows eventually. But this is the most important thing in the world to us right now. And we're going to make it happen. Right, Zach? Yes, exactly. Put it over. Put it over like this. Ready? Yeah. Who's that? Can you see him? Can you see him? Yeah. Can you see him? Yes. Yeah. Jeremiah with you? Oh, Cameron. Yeah. Cameron, yeah. let us in. <laughs> yes. Yes. Where is he? All right, here we go. Hello! Bet you didn't think that I will be coming to your home, Cameron. Yeah, I'm kind of afraid. Now you know where I live. Yeah, yeah. dude. We went to the bistro first, and guess who wasn't at work yet? I go to work at 3.30. Oh! What well, do you know? It's so, it's so funny, because I was going to do, just doing some things, doing a bit, like, you guys call in, call in an order, like to prove that I actually worked there. Right. But I have to come home and feed the animals. Dude, he, so Zach told me that you have baby tortoises. Yeah. And then I got even more excited because I love turtles and tortoises so much. Yeah, I was literally in the middle of feeding them, as you can see. I just gave them their bath. <gasps> and oh, there they are. my. Goodness. Yeah, you want to hold one? I would love that so much. Oh, the mama's right behind you. I really? Need bridge. <laughs> oh, wow. This is so cool. I actually just expanded this enclosure here. This is beautiful. Can I, I can hold one? Yeah, go for it. Dude. They're for sale. <laughs> Are they really? <laughs> no, not this. Yeah, man. pack it in your luggage, Jeremiah. How, how much do you sell these tortoises for? Uh, Well, did. My uh, my first two, they just reached reached adulthood. So wow. these are the first hatchlings I've had, and I haven't really thought much about it. One, two, three. Hot and sour soup. Did you, uh, I got the chicken Szechuan, rice, crab rangoon. Had an egg roll. Cameron, hooking it up out here. Yes sir. yes, sir. Zach, how good is this food, man? Excellent. Amazing. What's the name of this place again? Borgfeld Bistro. Borgfeld Bistro in San Antonio, Texas. You have to go here, support Cameron and his family. It's incredible. You went you went there, didn't you? Oh, I went there. So what kind of sparked the fire? Like when did during that when when you saw well, the reveal okay. of the aging? So kid he, here's that was here's my thing with the joke. Here's my thing with the joke. Yeah. Well, there was like, no joke. There was no joke. It was just well, an Asian guy showing up. Well, that's the thing. Make it a joke. Have something, a twist to it. Right. It, it was just an Asian so with a beanie on. What I thought uh, is my guess is I was like, they're probably thinking I'm going to go along with this because I'm a yes and or an improviser. Yeah. But I thought it would be funnier to flip out and just go off the rails and be and call out that it wasn't a good bit. Oh, wow. And then how did they take that? Well, the... Uh, they were both like thought it was funny the way I reacted, but like, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I look like I said, I don't, 
like this is a comedy podcast. Your your dude, your reaction was even more disappointed than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> what, what do you mean? You were like, <sighs> no, because I was in my mind. I was waiting for the the joke. The, yeah, the the thing that's yeah. gonna be like, oh, they got me. Yeah, but it was just like he was just sitting there, and I'm like, at least do something weird, something I would do, or right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Shout out, That's, to, shout out to Zach over at Neon I don't Monkey. Know, but I don't know if you want, I want to shout them out. Whoa. <laughs> no, it's okay, Zach. But just don't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, don't do that, Zach. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if you do it, do it, make it funny, you know? There you go. So you weren't laughing. Because if it was funny, you'd go along with it. I know you. Yeah, well, that's why you see me kind of like, I'm like, hey, you look kind of different. You know what I mean? I'm not, I yeah. didn't even commit to the lie. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then that, and then after that clip, what's shown is just me flying off the hinges. Is Do you think that's something they planned beforehand, like like in a week in advance? Like, okay, we're going to we're gonna get Trin to come. No, and no, then, they were excited. It was some of the best. No, 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 the bit of getting my impersonator or whatever. Well, that's like one of his best friends. It wasn't some Asian dude he just found no, out no, Craigslist. No, 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 I'm not saying that. I'm not saying their background history of the relationship. I'm saying the bit itself. They That was pre a pre-planned thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've got a, a pre-planned challenge today yeah. that's going to get it pretty gnarly. Uh, we've done this. We've done variations of this in the past, but we've never done anything quite like this before. Uh, you know, people want us to go on the Hot Ones show. And you know what? I feel like this is going to be a good audition for that. Because we're oh, going to... we're going to do the real thing? We're going to do a race through all... Of the hot ones, hot sauces, right here, right now with chicken wings on Scissor Bros. Uh, okay. And Ryan, will you tell us the temperature that's in the garage right now, just for reference? Just to reference what kind of heat we're dealing with on top of the heat that's going to happen inside of our mouth holes. 85. It's 85 degrees in the garage right here, right now. It's the hot ones challenge, baby. You guys ready? First, before we get started, we realized we didn't even do scissors this episode. Let's get some going. Let's do some hot wing scissors yeah. as we do our first as we do our first uh, uh, wing. But basically, we're gonna do uh, the hot ones challenge right now, where we got ten of the hot ones sauces, and we are gonna go into a final dab off. The loser has to do a dab of all the sauces of the other person's mix. So you can choose whatever sauces, whatever you find hottest along the way. Dump a bunch on that for the final wing that we're that we have off camera. Uh, but this is the tenth wing right here. This mm -hmm. is uh, this is whatever their final one is called. Okay. You ready? Right, let's do some scissors. You ready? Let's do, well, right. uh, as we eat the first one. Okay. Right you got it. You got your right system. Here? Right here. Yeah, yeah. All right. Number one. Ready? Yeah. One, two, one, one, one. Is that good? Positivity at home. And we got the sauce off, right? Mm -hmm. That's number one. Go for it. Be mindful of your smacks, brother. <laughs> Can I do my impression of you? Go ahead. Mm. Mm. And with Scissor Bros Hot Challenges, we're not allowed to wipe our noses. We wipe our lips, mm -hmm. but not our noses. If we're snotting, we're going for it. Number two? Number two. Okay. Hmm. Picking up steam a little bit. I noticed a gradual increase in hotness right there. Right there. I mean, it's doable. I think when we get to this row, it's gonna really. Number three is Hoff and Pepper. And Steve's already starting to cough a little bit. Okay. Uh -huh. 
Mmm. Whoa. This one's picking up for me. What do you think? Mm hmm. It has a little bit of a kick to it. Mm hmm. Number four is um, the Lo Los Calientes Verde. Okay. Mm hmm. 36,000 on the Scovel heat units. You're doing it? Mm hmm. I don't find this one that hot. Mm. Okay, this is five. I think it's gonna start getting kicking in now. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, let's try it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, so we can't pick the milk? No, not, not unless you want to tap out. No, 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 no. But Let's that go. one got me a little bit. Oh no, the, the, this one's got me. Yeah, it jabbed me. Uh, what's, what's number six? Hold on, man, give me a sec. You, what you feeling? Give me a sec. See, Which one did you just grab? The revolutionary hothead. In your hand. This one? Yeah, uh, you have to get the darker one. Yeah, the dark It goes reverse. It goes reverse? Yes. Yeah, oh, seven. good catch. This one has a lot on it. This one has a lot on it. Give me a sec. Number six is Senor Lechuga. So can I blow my nose? No, that's the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Is Senor, C Senor uh, Lechuga on your side? Oh, here it is. Is this what this one looks like? This says adobo, black lime, and ghost peppers. Woo, ghost peppers, baby. I don't like ghost peppers. All right. Boo. Okay. Boo. <laughs> is what the dope said when it's our kind of hot way. This is a fat one. Look at the fat one they gave me. Woo, hallelujah. Ready? Number six. Woo. Let's go. Time out. Can I get a sec? What is? What do you mean? Time out. Oh, just give me a sec. Uh. Is that the first one with the ghost pe uh, pepper in it? Ghost pepper? Yeah. Probably, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a huge jump. It's a yeah, huge it's jump. Yeah, it's just really kind of bring it up to that level, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I feel it. Yeah. Uh, woo! Oh, you're sweating? Whoa! A bead of sweat rolling down Steve's nose. Yeah, your nose is starting to light up. Mine's starting to light up, too. I'm gonna wipe my nose, but not my mouth. It's 90 degrees. It's 90 degrees in here right now. <laughs> There's flies accumulating over our bodies that are rotting. That one hit me hard. That one hit me hard. Uh, hold on, <clears throat> man. I can't like. Let's go to the number seven. No, hold on, man. I can't like. Feel your mouth? I can't feel my mouth. It's, Same here. It's like numb. Same here. It got in my beard, and it's a big problem since I wiped my mouth. Okay, so number eight is. Number seven. Uh, Number seven. Okay, number seven is Chile Lengua de Fuego, Botella Fire, 180,000 Scovo, 180, Scovo heat units. Is that over there? The Chile? Yeah. yeah. You got it on your side. Turn it. Go. The other one? Yeah. Here we go. <sighs> Chile Lengua de Fuego, Botella Fire. Bottle of fire, here we go. Ready? Yeah. I'm starting to for sure get some drip drip. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no. Oh. <coughs> Frick, every time I see hot ones, every time they start coughing, it's bad. <coughs> Frick. Like, I'm not trying to like opt out. But is it technically, because I've seen the show Hot Ones, I've seen that they do drink milk in between. You know what I'm saying? Well, this is Scissor Brothers. I know, but if we're um, 
kind of replicating hot ones, they do drink milk in between the sh their, their wings and everything. Milk is for winners. <sighs> Just give me a sec. Number eight. Go ahead, it's your turn. This is the bomb. Evolution, 135,600 Scoville heat units. This is the one you talked about. It's not evolution, it's beyond insanity. Insanity, the real the bomb. This is the real the bomb. Well, so what does that mean? What does that entail? The one that comes with the kit is not as strong. The one that comes with the kit is not as strong. We're getting from our producer. We're hearing word from him right now. He got the official the bomb. So what does that, what does that mean? This is the real thing? Once we get him a mic, we'll we'll go back and forth, but he's giving us the gist right now. But this is the real deal. Yeah. Oh, do Here we go. This is, mine's covered too. Mine's doused. Here we go. But it's still like that. I feel like I'm being disciplined for some past sins right now. Because this is some next level. This is tripping me up real bad. I, I know this is bad because... Oh. oh! Whoa! Would I talk? I it hurts to breathe. I can't... I can't... Even can't talk? talk? Oh! Yo! Hey man, let me drink the milk. Let me drink the milk. Milk is for winners. <coughs> Yo. You gotta stay seated, dude. Are you done? I'm done. Let's go to number nine. That was really bad. You ready to go to number nine? Hold up, man! Where are you going right now? Tell me where you're going. I'm in a haunted house. You're, tell me what's inside the haunted house. Ghouls. And what else? I, dude! Right here! Yeah. Oh, it's killing me. This is killing me. Ah! It's killing me. Kill me softly with this song. I can't do ah. This is absolutely destroying me right now. This is one for the cow. My nose has become a faucet. The waterworks are covered. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Honor your neighbor as I sell. This is some bad stuff. Ah! What's going on the timeout? What was that? What was that? What was that timeout? Ah! What was the timeout, Steve? I'm in hell. And I'm right there with you, brother. I'm going to another dimension right now. You ready to go to number nine? You ready to go to number nine, brother? You ready to walk the coal? You ready? This is another level. Uh, I, uh, I can't feel my mouth. Oh. Oh. I have the biggest headache right now. Feels like my headband is contracting my head. Did you already eat it? Dude, talk to me, brother. What's happening? I can't talk, dude. You gotta stop. This is YouTube show. I can speak a lot of your words. I can't talk. I... Oh. 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 My snot has turned hot. Oh. Oh no, I went into my mouth. It somehow got hot in there. What's happening? I started to pass out. Sean Evans, you're a demon. 
You're a demon, Sean Evans. I just got started a hot sauce all over my mouth and my nose. That's for all you guys. Hey, man. Not you. This is for, what's his name? Sean Evans. Sean Evans. For all. Easy, man. We want to be on a show someday. For you and your show. Send him some love, man. We love you. I feel like a different place right now. You guys, you gotta project, bro. I'm in a different spiritual place. You project. I'm in a different spiritual place <laughs> right now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is so disgusting. I'm in a different. This is so. This is so next. Hold on. I love is, you, brother. This is so next level. This, I'm in a different. This might be one of the grossest faces I've ever had in my life. Uh, <laughs> spiritual. Oh. Later. What is, dude? Is that went, water or snot? It's not. It just went dude, out my face. That's a thumbnail, brother. <sighs> dude. Dude. S Steve? S Steve? Yeah, I'm here. <sighs> oh, God. Oh, All God. Right, dude. <sighs> I gotta get this off my face. This is so gross, dude. Can we do the last one? No, I'm not giving up. This is the thickest snot I've ever had in my life. It's so gross. I hate having this with snot on my mouth. Or my nose. Dude, that's disgusting, dude. Yeah, you don't think you're disgusting? Dude! Look at the camera, dude. Look at that, Look at you, bro. man. Look that's at you. Linda Blair Exorcist. Listen, man. You Linda, look at that camera, you look at that camera. That's Linda Blair Exorcist. Straight up. Just stand up. Just sit up, man. Just sit up here with me. Get back on my plane of existence, and let's eat this last one. Do I got boogers? Not like me. That's a, that's a different level. <laughs> I know, I'm aware. Linda Blair, Exorcist, watch the movie. It's a damn good movie. Oh, Best horror movie ever made. It just went up my nose. I can't even look at you. Can we get Come this Come on, over? man, look at me, man. Goddamn fly! Come on, let's get this out of the way. Last dab. This is the hot ones. Last dab of Apollo. You ready? We oh we gotta put a dab on it. Steve, Steve you got it over there. Uh, Here we go. Dab it up. Dab it up. Dab it up. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. Please have. Here, me. you put it on your own. You put it on your own. I put that. Okay. Okay. Is that cool? Cool? Is that cool? Man size. Yeah, Let's go. Thanks for tuning up. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Yeah, thank we you guys. Is this, this the content you like? Comment we below. We should appreciate the support. If you want to see more stuff, go to patreon.com slash Bros. And then make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Bros. We appreciate each and every single one of y'all. We try to make fun content, and although we are suffering, we're still having fun doing it. Okay. Love you guys. Here we go. Bottoms up. Cheers. I'm sorry for anybody's watching this. I didn't mean for it to be this gross. I don't know what's happening to my body. I'm kind of losing function. I can't really feel my mouth or my nose anymore. So I can't really... I, I, I know I look gross, but like, I wasn't. Oh, this is disgusting. The snot yeah. is like going onto the wing. I'm eating it. Oh my god! <laughs> so Sean Evans, this is an open invite to have this bros. Dude, Sean, Sean, we're the only people we, who don't we, wipe their we, nose. And as not much. only that, dude, Sean, I love you. We don't even drink milk, dude. Yeah, we don't even drink the milk they're out, dude. We're doing it the raw form, brother. <laughs> Alright, so we, so like, so like, we both made it to the end, so Steve, what do we do now? This is a dab off. This is where it gets crazy. So Ryan, let's fly in two more wings, and we're going to dab off. Uh, no, I don't know. I, well, there's no need for that. Really, there's no difference. Are you throwing in the towel? If you throw in the towel, you have to do one more dab of my choice anyway. Yeah, I throw in the towel. Yeah, there's no need for that, guys.
There's no need for that. Let's just stop the suffering. There's no need for that. You got it. So you, you got it. What I'm saying is the punishment now. That's good. Go ahead. So one more wing. I'm going to go back to number eight, which was the bomb. Cause that no, was... you don't want to do that one. That's the one you don't want to do. Yeah, dude. You got to do this. Dude, that's... So you don't love me. What do you mean, man? That's not love. Okay, I'll help a little bit. No, 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 no. I'll just put a little bit of this just to even it out. All right, dude. Wait, wait, wait. Dude, there's, it's in there, dude. Just a little bit of house sauce. Dude, come on, bro. Are you gonna... That's it. All right, here we go. Can I just... I, I gotta do, like, a, a spiritual, like, thing. Can I drink milk while I look at you? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I gotta do... Mm. Yep, the milk already went bad. It's I knew your money, boy. What you feeling right now, brother? Review the thing. I put three kinds <laughs> of sauces on it. Look up. Dude, you just did what I did. Oh. Oh. All right. Uh, if you if you enjoy the content, like and subscribe and share the video. With all your friends. Where's his accent coming from? I can't talk right. Okay. Share the video. Here we you, love you guys. Here, you can wipe your face. <coughs> You're not going to throw up, are you? There are so many flies whenever you start coughing. Oh, can I do it? Oh, wait. Yeah, start wiping. Start wiping. <coughs> <coughs> this is a legendary moment on the Scissor Brothers podcast. Stevie Weeby is lactose intolerant and he took a glass of milk and started drinking it feeling better buddy wow what a faker dude all these times all these episodes saying you lactose intolerant I am. You're doing it just for the poison? Wow. Well, this has been an eventful episode. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe at youtube.com slash scissorbros. You're probably already here. Um, Patreon.com slash scissorbros. And uh, hope you go check out a live show of mine soon. Uh, some stand-up comedy. And maybe we'll do some scissorbros lives sometime soon, too. Oh, yeah. Any closing words, Steve? Uh, I was gonna work, be working on new music. It's still to be announced, but you're working on new music. I'm gonna uh, think about it. Yeah, so Dude. I'll let y'all know. Heck yeah. Okay. All right. Love you guys. Bye. Scissor Brothers. Um. Hello. It's your pal Gerald and. Once again, those bitches didn't include me in the pod. I was standing right there the whole fucking time. How come they didn't even make eye contact with me? It's like I didn't exist. Is my name Terrence? Whoops. Didn't mean to throw shade at Terrence. I take that back. He's a good buddy. He has been looking delicious lately. What would you say if I tried to go down on Terrence one time? Or I guess up on Terrence as he's a tree when the guys left the garage? 
he got pretty upset and said, you better go back to your corner or you cast some kind of spell on me or whatever. But, you know, it's all good. Anyway, hope you guys have a good weekend and hopefully I'll get some more screen time. I guess I need to stop complaining and start doing, you know what I mean? I'll start attacking Steve in the corner if he doesn't ask me any questions. No, that's not the Scissor Bros way. I'll just keep looking my best and try to put a smile on my face. All right. Love you guys. I have chlamydia. Bye. He's awaking from a nightmare. He looked in the mirror and saw himself. <laughs>